all I put, ooh, yeah. Just be safe, wash your hands, wear a mask. I'm going for the six pack before I die. Oh my god. Can you imagine how many blind people there would be in the world if that was real? Um, try and stop the machine. Scrap it. Deep within a crevice, we found something astonishing. There's a mining gear attached to the rock, digging itself into the vast depth of the asteroid. It stands abandoned, with no sign of who placed it there. Can anyone recommend any good voids to scream into? Um, the American government? Seems to be a pretty empty void. These days. <laughs> it's truth. You're welcome. Thank you for the points. Ten points to... Turf and door. You know it's weird. I'm very controversial and I have a lot of controversial items of clothing. Never in my life have I felt bad about wearing anything. I'm usually like, fuck anybody who defends. I actually feel bad wearing my Harry Potter stuff and it hurts me. And I know I shouldn't pin Harry Potter on that fucking turf whore. Every day I look at one of my Slytherin shirts and I'm like, I hate you. It's weird. Because I fucking love Harry Potter, man. It's just the author ends up being a fucking... I feel like I'm in love with Mein Kampf or something. Like, fuck. It's weird. I hate it. Thank you, Jackie. Thank you, Pixie. I'm glad I'm not the only person. A couple people on Twitter are like, Katie, don't let her ruin them. Don't let her ruin the whatever. And I'm like, I'm trying not to, but I feel like I'm wearing a shirt that says I don't believe in trans rights. <laughs> I believe shit people can make great art. I know. And that's like, I still hold Harry Potter very dear to my heart. It's still a wonderful, wonderful story. Yes. And I'm doing my absolute best to separate them in my head. I, I believe you, Jay, and I agree with you. And it's something like subconscious in my head. It's just like yucky for a minute. Like I'll wear them eventually. I just have to like take a minute because it's just it's weird. It's real weird. Try and stop that machine. You do it, you son of a bitch. Ooh, what do I need? A construction ship? I have a science ship. No construct. Harry Potter says trans rights are human rights. It's true. Yep. Yep. I have a polyjuice potion light on my PC desk, and I look at it now, and I'm like, I don't know. Dude, I have the fucking goblet of, uh, not the goblet of, the goblet of fire. I have the goblet of fire right there on my desk. It's a light. It's everywhere. It's all around me. I Systems love Harry Potter. Complete. Breaks my heart that she had to end up a cunt, so I'm doing my best to separate them in my head. And I heard that she didn't even fucking write past the second book. So I'm just going to like, I'm just going to go with that, hopefully, and hope that's real or something. Oh my god, kill! Oh, you can't compliment Laws. He has too much power. When I read it as a chubby kid, so I wasn't ever super into it, but dude, I love Marion Zimmer Bradley's Avalon stuff, and turns out she apparently molested her kids. Fuck. That sucks. I was a fat kid. I'm still kind of chubby, but I never, like, felt like I was being judged for it in the books, but I don't know. That's just me. I'm a... I'm kind of dense. <laughs> Did I just try time travel? You might have. Did you blink? Lozne has powers. See, Daxon, I really hope they do something and they say, like, you know, she is separated from us and she won't be getting royalties because I want to play that fucking game. I wasn't a fat kid, but I'm working hard on correcting that during lockdown. I've always just been chubby. I don't know. I'm, like, athletic build. Like, it's... It's just, like, 
I'm well dispersed in all areas of all things. I have muscle everywhere. I have fat everywhere. Athletic build, I think, is what most people... Because I'm not, like, curvy. I have a fat ass. That's about it. Dude, I loved... I mean, that was my world as a kid. I've been to Harry Potter World so many times. I can't even tell you. I honestly don't know how many times I've been. I own three wands. Three $50 fucking lame ass not real harry potter wands like harry potter is all around me lovably forgetful okay we'll go with that i grew up on the crestum oh my god crestomancy shut the fuck up i loved the crestomancy did you read the aberat books as well crestomancy was an amazing series and then aberat was one that i really loved Aberat was an amazing series I read when I was younger. Oh man, Aberat was really good. System survey. Wild complete. series, but so well done. The Charlie Bone? I don't remember that one. You know, I mean, Holly Caustic. You seem well read. I'm sure you know what the worst witch is. Like, Harry Potter was written many, many times before Miss Turf Fuck wrote Harry Potter. She, I mean, did not. Uh, I don't like her. I don't like her. I don't like her at all. Yeah. There was a lot of things like that that came out that, yeah. Artemis Fowl's really good series. Also, the uh, Golden Compass. I mean, the movies were terrible, but the books were great. Yeah, she definitely wasn't original. She just got, you know, bought up. Bought up. You know how it goes. Money, 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 money Forever and ever and ever and ever and ever Everything's fine and everyone's okay I have not watched the movie. I learned via watching the Avatar, last Avatar movie. That was a terrible experience. I'm never watching a movie again, I guess. That's just my life now. Yeah. Oh, I know, Holly. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Weezus. What up, Wayne? How are you? When I was misdiagnosed with schizophrenia and put on Zyprexa, misdiagnosed with schizophrenia. What the Research fuck? Research complete. I gained 40% of my body weight and ended it on 127 kegs. I've been struggling ever since to lose the weight, but all the extra fat cells I gained in massive weight gain. I mean, fat cells are impossible. They're really fucking hard to lose. Not, I won't say impossible, but really fucking hard. Yes. Oh, shit. I heard a success sound. Hell is ready to be colonized. Goody. Hell, I really need money. I need you to make me some money, please. Thanks. And some food. Thanks. Uh, okay. I struggle with fat on my stomach, but I've accepted it. And maybe it'll eventually go away. Dude, I have fat thighs. Like, I got jiggly fucking thighs. I've had children tell me I look 59 because my thighs jiggle. I feel you. But, like, you get one body. If it works, fucking use it. This concentrate straight up looks like runny earwax and smells like tutti frutti. All of that sounds terrible to me. My body did not make my gallbladder removal well. I maintain the IBS from after the surgery. Not everyone does. Had the midsection weight gain and have issues with a lot of foods now because of it. Fuck. That sucks. Ugh. Where are you at, construction ship? You got anything else to do? No!
do it. My fat goes to my butt. All to my butt and legs. Long live my 59 year old self. System Would you guys believe complete. me if I told you I was 59? Maybe I should go with it for a while. Yeah, I'm totally 59. <laughs> Duh. You think people will probably not? Be like, Katie, you're full of shit. <laughs> go down, you silly fuck. Okay. Yay. I'm not 59, by the way. I was just saying, if if I told you that, would you believe me? I'm glad you wouldn't, because it's bullshit. Uh, that's hell. Oh, Daxton, lovely. When I get old, I'm deciding to cosplay Sophia Patrio every day. I'm, yeah, I don't know what I'll do. I, yeah, I don't know. I'll probably, probably be the exact same person you see in front of you right now when I get old. Probably. <laughs> I'm pretty consistent. Go to. Back that ass up. Ooh, you gonna back that ass up. Oh, I need a fucking construction ship. Okay. Uh, can you, like, research this? Cool. Oh, I got wings on my arms. Aren't killed children? Subliminal messages coming through. Um, children are just the best, aren't they? I love them. They say the most thoughtful things that really do make me feel like life is magical and stuff. Man. <laughs> Fur babies. Word. That night I was in voice chat, and friend, I swear I could stay longer than I did. I hope to get another night when I come into Discord voice chat and just chat and shit. Just have longer conversations. Dude, there's like so many billions of people in this world that would probably love to hang out with you in Discord. Waiting for me is the worst idea you could ever have in your entire life, because I think I get in Discord once a year. <laughs> You'll be waiting a long fucking time. Oh, they're absolutely evil. I mean, definitely. Definitely. But I kind of like that. Like, I'm into it, you know? No. Like, if I get into my Discord, it's like my secret Discord. Because, like, I talk for a living, and so the idea of talking extra is nauseating a little bit. So I don't do it often. Wait, no, let's build things first. Let's build things first. Don't go anywhere. Stay there. Stay there, dumbass. You're not doing anything, are you? No, because you're useless! Has Dude, Hasselbuck potatoes are amazing. That being said, I will... Oh my god, look, a, gr a grinder. I thought that said a grinder black hole. I was like, oh, holy hell, where's where's Andrew? Uh, read the misdiagnosis. The psychiatrist who did it later on lost his license to practice. It seems that he misdiagnosed a lot of people based on 15 to 30 minute talks. Then build the local government's foot, foot, footing bill, footing the bill for solo sessions while holding group sessions. Also, a lot of people in, on Zyprexable, Zyprexa, and the meltable and most expensive one. Guess what? Creepo worked for Pfizer. <gasps> Shut the fuck up. First off, I am so fucking sorry you had the experience going on a fucking schizophrenic drug. That's incredible. Secondly, would it be wrong for me to ask you how that felt? Like, what did it, what did those do to you? Cause holy shit. That is, I mean, for lack of a better word, some shit. Wow. 
construction yeah I, I would i would 100 percent. yep absolutely you know what did that for me working in a hospital i don't really trust that place anymore that's insane like you lived a nightmare like you lived like the alice in wonderland nightmare you know Kudos to you for, you know, surviving. Damn. Ascension perk? Oh the shit, ascension perk. Shows the ascension perks that we can potentially unlock. Some ascension perks may have special requirements, like technologies, or having a certain number of already unlocked ascension perk slots. I'd trust a friend with a medical license over an actual hospital. Absolutely. 100%. Because a friend has your best interests in, in mind. That being said, you have to be careful of what friend because you might have a friend that will keep you alive forever. I have to tell my doctors that I want one. I have several PCP doctors. Still can't find one that thinks. Everywhere you go, it turns out, is a horrifying shit show. The world is so scary. You really have to be your own advocate. Okay. I get an ascension perk. The stars beckon. Okay. Star based influence cost minus 20%. Claim influence cost minus 20%. Research speed. Monthly unity. Pop amenities. Governing ethics attraction. Clear blocker cost. Administrative capacity. Edict capacity. Leader level cap. Subject integration influence cost creepy and i can't have those ones i don't go to the doctor unless i'm dying and even then like i'm treated by nurses like the whole time i was in the er it was all nurses i'm gonna do that one interstellar dominion yep give me that CK, these are somewhat big takes uh, a long time to get and can't be changed. Oh, I mean, absolutely. Itchy eye. Sorry. Uh-oh. Danger zone. In hell? What? Hello? What? Research. Special project complete. Good job. Are you done? Fuck Matt. Fuck a dick. I would like you to auto research, please. Thank you. Um a 70%. I mean that's not a terrible world, and it'll give me money. What is that's Al at Lava system? Mm. A secret patient file that tells people about religion, politics, or other person observation. No. That's usually just, like, in the chart. Complete. That's, like, right up front. Like, if I open someone's chart, I can have all, everything. Their religion, because that's really important to healthcare. So it's usually not a... I mean, all patient files are secret, if you want to get down to it. If you talk about, like, HIPAA and stuff, everything's a secret, but... Um... All of that is usually just on the front page of a chart because it's important. Like if you're Jehovah's Witness, I cannot take nor can I give you blood. If you are Muslim, you cannot have your hands removed. You're no longer considered a man. Um, I have to know whether or not you want to be called a man. Like there's all that kind of stuff. It's very vital to patient care. So it's usually not secret. Yeah, Assistant Master Meatball, that's all. I mean, as long as you've told somebody, because it's important, absolutely. Oh, yeah, we take all that into consideration. I mean, especially at the hospital I worked at, I worked at Hopkins. So we had, I mean, an extremely diverse amount of clientele. We had princes and princesses from Saudi Arabia come and stay in our hospital. And so we would have to know all the different religions, and it would have guidelines how you treat the patient. We had, I mean, hundreds of patients from the Middle East who are women and Muslim. They can't have a male come in the room. So it's important you know their religion, so you always assign a female RT to that floor. Because you'd always, if you didn't, you'd just have to call a female RT all night long to come into the room. 
Research complete. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. That stuff. As long as whatever information you give up, the nurse will put it in your chart because that's vital to us. We want to take the best care of you possible. And if that, I mean, if you, like, I had a patient. The reason I know about the hands, the Muslim hands, is when I was at Hopkins, I had a patient who, um, he kept his, he kept ripping the A-line out of his wrist. So it went necrotic and his hands rotted. They went black. Both of his hands just turned totally black. And his wife kept putting this red oil on his hands, which was in making the infection be worse and worse and worse. And so we were like, you know, to save him, we need to, to save him from some sort of horrible infection, like a systemic infection, we need to remove his hands. And she wouldn't let us. We weren't allowed to. Uh, anytime you're in the hospital, Master Meatball, just ask the nurse to flip the chart towards you. If it's on you, it's your information. You're allowed to see any of it. Some of them treat me like the plague. Why? No one should treat you any different in the hospital depending on anything. That's fucking weird. Then the database administrators read and laugh at it. The fuck? Is that real? Did the handman survive? He did, but he went home with crispy, black, dead hands. Like, like imagine what a belly button looks like rotting off a baby. Mashing Meatball, that's fucking weird. Why? That's really weird. I've had people come in who are like, Wiccan, Pagan, Sikh, Muslim, Hindu, every sect of Christianity you could possibly imagine. I'm an asshole for making HR make up reasons to do nothing about it. Um, I would have said something to HR too. You're a good person. That's pretty fucked up. We would never laugh at someone's chart ever. Like, sometimes if you come in and you have a cell phone stuck in your butt, if you survive, I'm going to laugh about it. But, like, your personal information? That's really fucked up. Gross. I'm sorry you have to work with those people. Some people just don't have, like, fucking, I don't know what happened. Like, did they not, did they not have parents? I don't even know. I don't know. For Skinnia. I need my ships. As someone who works in retail, we take a HIPAA course so we can see that info because we're trusted. Because then we are trusted. It's a joke. Really, all the HIPAA course does is the HIPAA course makes it so the hospital can sue you if you tell anyone any patient information. That's all it is. They don't actually care about the patients. That's the sick part. It's just all about being sued. I got fired as I didn't fit in with the, com the, the competent culture. The champagne flowed that night. Life got better from there. Fuck yeah. That's gross. Dude, Virabot, same. It is so fucking hot here. It was like 97 earlier. It's 96 now. Yeah, it's nauseatingly hot here too. It's hot. It ain't my favorite, but what do you do? It. I'd rather this than being cold to be completely. A uh, fucking fly is in my. I'm gonna. I'm gonna kill it. This fly is making me want to like choke on dick. You're scared for Fourth of July. Why? Forgot I had just ran another faucet with hot water, so there was still some in the lines. Fucking ow. EMT hippo courses can suck it. People largely do what they're told. We're raised from a very young age to submit to authority and not to question it. Pair that with not teaching critical thinking. And it's not that we have a world of malicious actors. It's that we have one of compliant idiot, complacent idiots. Willfully ignorant idiots at a certain point. Ugh. Sweater weather. Yeah, it is warm here. Delightfully chilly inside, though. All right, my dudes. 
it's almost five o'clock and I am so tired. Was lurking, but just had to check back in for choking on dick. Did I say I was going to choke on a dick? I think I did. <laughs> it's hot out. Uh, did I make a chokes on dick reference? I don't even fucking know. I've been up since six o'clock is what I was going to say. I've been up a really fucking long time working on my computer and I'm just going to go sit down and zone out for a while because I am so tired. Mentally fucking tired. I don't know why that happens. It's really bizarre. Never in my life did I think I could get so mentally tired as I do sometimes. <laughs> 